Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with Maritime Divers. How are we doing today? I'm actually doing quite well. Um, I've got something to show you that is just really cute and takes no time at all. Um, so what I'm going to show you how to make is this cute little gift bag. Okay, This is done um, with just a plain piece of 8.5 by 11 paper. And look at that. Isn't that cute? You can put whatever you want in there. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make this. The only items you're going to need is a 8.5 by 11 piece of scrapbook paper. You can use cardstock if you want. Um, I'm just going to set this to the side. You can use um, cardstock, whatever kind of paper, maybe painted paper, whatever you would like to use. A small piece of ribbon. You're going to need a ruler. Yeah, this is the only time you're going to see me measuring anything. A pencil a hole punch and some scotch tape all right so let me show you how this is going to work what we need to do we're going to make one two four marks on our piece of paper on the end we're going to start okay here's your 11 here's your eight and a half so on your eight and a half end you're going to go one and three quarters in and you're going to put a little mark okay so one and three quarters you're going to do this on both ends, one and three quarters. The next mark you're going to make, and you only have to do this on one of the, um, on one end. You don't have to do it on both ends unless you really want to. You're going to go from side to side, and you're going to go in two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. So it's right about here. And same thing over here, two and three quarters. That's it. That is the only marks you need on this to make a gift box. So here we go. What I'm going to do, actually, let me put those in pen because I don't know if you guys can see them. So here's my marks. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. So I have one on each end and then just the two on the one end. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper into threes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take an outside long edge, our 11 and a half edge, and we're going to go to our outside mark here, which is the 2 and 3 quarters. Okay, we're going to fold that flat. Turn it around. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to go to that mark on your paper, and you're going to fold it flat. All right? So now we have our paper in threes. You can see the, the creases on those. We folded it in three different spots. Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your ends. You're going to go up to your one and three quarter mark. And you're going to place a fold. Okay. So one and three quarter mark to the fold. Turn it around. Do the same thing to the opposite end one and three quarters to the fold okay so just to review what we've done we went in on one side two and three quarters of an inch folded it the other side two and three quarters of an inch and folded it right that was our third then we took our ends we went up to one and three quarters here turn it around up to one and three quarters there right so if you look here and I'm just gonna make the marks just so that you can see it we folded it we have a fold here a fold here a fold here and a fold here right okay now this is where you're gonna use these four corners as your guide for the next steps you've got a corner here you're gonna find it on the outside which is right here you're going to hold your finger there. You're going to bring your paper up and fold it back on itself. All right. So your, your finger is right there at that corner. You're going to bring it up and you're going to fold it back on itself. So see what it looks like? So again, put our finger here, find our corner, put our finger on it, fold it back up on itself, and then put a crease in it. All right, so we're going to do that with all four corners. So I'll make sure that one worked. Yep. 
Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing here. We've got the corner, let me leave it like it was. We've got this corner right here. i got to find it again, right there. We're going to bring it back up on itself. I've got to turn it around. We're going to bring it back up on itself. And we're going to put a crease in it. Now when I bring it back up onto itself, I'm lining it up with this outside edge. All right, so if you don't, it's just not going to look as good, um, but it's going to take a little bit to get used to doing this too. So don't give up on your first try. So again, I found my corner. It's here on the outside. I'm going to bring it back up onto itself and I'm going to put in a crease, right? Same thing on this one. Find my corner, put my finger on it, bring it back up onto itself and crease it. So now when you look at your piece of paper, you now have a crease here, 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 and here. Right? So, now how are we going to make a box out of this? You're going to take your hands right here, you're going to fold it in together, and you're going to lift it up. Now what's going to happen is one of them is going to want to fold into the other, which is fine. All right, why am I not folding right? Okay. One of them is going to want to fold into the other, which is okay. It can be over top, and it goes underneath. So either way, and here's your little bucket. There's your little gift bag, right? So I'm going to take it apart. We're going to do it again. We're going to take the two spots here. We're going to fold this one up. This is your base. Fold this one up. And you're going to bring them together. Now, they can't just be next to each other like this. One is going to have to go under and one over. Same here. One under, one over. It does not matter which is which. You can, you can do it either way. You're going to get this little box. Okay? Now, at this point, I know some people go ahead and they put glue right here to hold the bag shut this way. I just put a little piece of scotch tape around it. You can do it either way. So let's do this. I'm going to take a little piece of scotch tape and I'm going to hold my that part together. All right. The other side, I'm going to take another little piece of scotch tape. I'm going to hold this together. Now, can you really see the scotch tape? No. All right. Now we have this little box. Now what's going to happen is when we put goodies in this little box, we're actually going to take the top together. Now when you have the top like this, you don't want to see this little on the outside, right? So what you're going to do is you're just going to take it in, push it in, and you're just going to fold it. I shouldn't have taped it yet. Hold on. I just put my finger in and I'm just going to fold it like that and give it a little bit of a crease. I'm not going all the way down. I'm just going a little of the ways down. See how it's got that little bow in now? So when you shut the gift bag, you actually have your sides are not bowing out. All right, so here's your little gift bag. So now for the top, this one I did a little bit off. I'm not quite sure how that happened. If that happens, just take your scissors, cut it. See, now they're even, no problem. Now what you're going to need to do is take your hole punch, any standard hole punch, and I just eyeball it and punch it through both, okay? Take your ribbon, your little piece of ribbon, go through one hole, oops, hold on, doot, doot. bring it out around the back and then out through the other hole and then tie a little bow. Yeah, that bow stinks. Let's try another bow. <laughs> you ever notice this stuff is easier to do when you're not on camera? Come on. All right, my bow is sick. For some reason I can't. Hold on, let's try this a different way. Do, 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 do. It's like I have butter fingers. There we go. All right, there's my little bow. Okay, so just a quick, easy, um, show you how to make a gift bag out of one piece of paper. 
You can, like I said, you can do it with cardstock. You can do it with um, regular paper. You can do it with painted papers. You can do it with pretty much any kind of paper. Um, I, like I said, I'm using scrapbook paper, and I'm doing it in a eight and a half by eleven inch size because I think it makes just a cute little gift bag. Uh, this paper I just happened to grab out of um, my scrap paper. It's called the Boyhood Stack. So. Um, have fun with it. I'd love to see what you create. Um, don't forget to share on my Artsy Endeavor page in Facebook. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.